Now traditionally, Labor Day marks the end of summer when wearing white after the first Monday in September becomes a bit gauche. And even that has roots in the early days of the labor movement when only the upper reaches of society could wear white because of the difficulty of just keeping it clean. So the labor movement, proud of its working class roots, purposely avoided white altogether, a class difference that eventually led to a fashion statement. So while most Americans will enjoy Labor Day as our annual farewell to summer, just know as you're tucking those white shoes away in the closet that in some small way you pay homage to the early labor leaders and the benefits they provide American workers even today. I'm Rob McClendon. Thanks for including us in your day. See you back here next week.